Tonight, CBS 47 is on your side, helping a single father get back into his apartment after having no air conditioning for months. Temperatures in his apartment reached 96 degrees in the sizzling Fresno heat, making things unbearable for he and his nine year old son. He called CBS 47 on your side and spoke with our Kara Rucker, who was able to cool things down with a couple of phone calls. Last month was the hottest July Fresno has ever recorded, with some days getting as hot as 114 degrees. So having no AC in a top floor apartment leaves residents with no escape. It's a reality one Fresno father had been living with for two and a half months. We only been here for 15, 20 minutes or whatever, and I'm already sweating as it is. And that just shows you, you know, how hot it is in here. Isidro Vasquez has been without air conditioning for almost 90 days. Around his living room sits box fan after box fan, leaving Vasquez sleep deprived and desperate for relief. I haven't gotten any sleep for the last few days um, due to the heat. We took a look at screenshots of his thermostat. This is from last night. A reading of 94 degrees, unbearable living conditions for Vasquez and his nine year old son. I had him, I tried to have him stay here with me and we're towards it. I had these fans blowing on him and it wasn't enough. It was still hot for him. We're towards, uh, I had to go to my parents' house. Vasquez has been going from house to house, waiting months for maintenance to fix his AC. Anywhere I could stay, you know what I mean, uh, that's blowing, that has an AC and it's blowing out cold air. That's what I've been doing. In the meantime, continuing to pay rent for a place he couldn't even stay. That's when he called CBS 47 on your side. I know somebody that will be on your side, which is 47. We made phone calls and reached the corporate office of J.D. Reynolds. A few days later, we were there to see a new AC unit installed. I'm home. I can sleep in my old bed now without having to get up multiple times at night to take a cold shower. Um, I'm home. Not only did the new AC bring Vasquez back home, but also his son. I'm here now, you know, I got the AC running and by tomorrow I can have start having my son here, you know, with me. We've also worked with management to help get Vasquez a rental reimbursement for the payments he made while not being able to live in his apartment. We want to thank J.D. Reynolds for taking care of this situation. If you need us on your side, give us a call or email us at the contact information there on your screen. I'm on your side, Kara Rucker, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.